next to ya I only wanna be next to ya darling and welcome back to another episode of my indigo mind i am taishana nice to meet you okay um today darling we are going to be talking about Derek jackson the relationship guru okay first and foremost <laughs> let me just say i was walking down these youtube streets and i heard homeboy him cheating Okay, so there's that. Um, now Tasha K did an interview with the girl over the phone, the supposed, the alleged mistress, and um, oh, and then y'all had sex, yes. All right, right. So he had asked me if um there was a way that we can see each other again. And so I was like, oh, okay, you know, that would be nice. He's like, whether it's me coming out there or you want to come out there. And I was like, uh, Orlando's born. Let me, you know, go out of town and go to Atlanta. So he's like, perfect. He, um, you know, allows me to stay at his place. So, we, you know, I stay there for the whole weekend. And that's his birthday weekend. So, you know, I'm thinking like, okay, maybe it's true. His wife and him are separated or whatever. I don't know what the case was, but um, we spent, I spent his birthday with him, with his close friends. You know, his best friends were there. My best friends were there. So we were all just hanging out that whole entire weekend. You know, so after that, um, you know, we went our separate ways. I went back home. We continued to text, you know, just here and there. Um, until, like, I'm going to say the end of July, um, he was texting me and he was like, hey, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to hit you up back on, on Snapchat because, um, you know, she's coming down here to bring the kids, but then, you know, she might stay at the house. So then I was like, okay. Hmm. Like, right. So I was like, that's kind of weird because if you're done with somebody, you're just done. So I don't understand why she's, you know, coming back to the house to stay. I mean, I understand, like, at any point, a woman can go back to her, her husband at any point, you know, understood. But it's just the fact that, you know, expecting it from him, you know, Mr. Relationship Girl or whatever he is, you would, I wouldn't expect him to, you know, be that, um, I guess, disorganized with his whole separation or whatever. So, um, so he's like, oh, I'm going to continue to write you on Snapchat. So at that point, that was a red flag for me. Like, okay, he's hiding something. Like, what, what more to it? And so I'm... Um, I'm reaching out to him on Snapchat. He's telling me, and I'm trying to get some time. I was like, so is this something that you guys are, a phase that you guys are going through or what's going on? He's like, emotionally, I'm not, um, we're, I, I'm not going to get back together with her. You know, it's so much hurt, so much this and that. You know, he's explaining. And I was like, so you guys are not getting back together or whatever. And he's just like writing me a whole bunch of things. He deleted his um, Snapchat, so I don't have that portion of it. I'm kind of chill mode right now. I'm back at the crib at my mama's house. It's Thanksgiving. I wasn't even going to do a video today, but I saw an interesting topic come up uh, on Instagram, man. I said, whatever, I'll just go ahead and talk on it for a little bit. So the question was, is that a man can have sex with another woman and still say that he loves his woman. You know what I mean? And the guy's response was that, you know, it's totally possible because sex is separate from love and, you know, love don't dictate what a guy's dick does and all this other shit. It's just sex. I'm going to stop all that here and now. Ain't no such thing as just sex. There's no such thing. When you're in a relationship and you fuck, you fuck another woman, Ain't no such thing as just sex. Now, I'm not saying the guy's unforgivable, he'll never get right, and all that other shit. We ain't even talking about that. But we gotta call a spade a spade. It's not just sex. It's also breaking your word. It's also endangering your girl's health. It's also betrayal. It's also having your girl look like a fool. You know what I'm saying? If you're not in a relationship... You just sex and you're going about your business quite possible you know what i'm saying but whenever you're in a relationship ain't no such thing as just sex once you give your girl your word that you're not gonna step out on her once you tell her that you can be trusted with her heart once you tell her that you're deserving of her trust and that you're not gonna break it and that you're not gonna put her through the same shit that she's been through over and over and over again once you violate that 
it's no longer just sex. You know what I'm saying? It's like if, if she slapped the shit out you, say, oh, it's just a slap. Oh, it's assault, right? It's, it's abuse. It's, you know, it's something different. It's disrespect. It's all these other things. And I can't say this enough, man. I've said it before. I feel like I'm going to say it in a whole lot of videos. Dudes have a habit of understating the hell out of some shit to justify their bullshit. It was just sex. No, it wasn't just sex. You were just being a fuckboy. In that moment, I can't speak to everything the dude did in a relationship and if it should undermine that or outweigh that or whatever. But in that moment, you were just being a fuckboy. You were just being ain't shit. You were just being everything you told her you wouldn't be. Call it that. Not just sex. Okay. Um. So he's telling me, like, oh, um, I, I, I don't plan on being with her. You know, this is, like, we've already tried, you know, a variety of various times or whatever the case is, this and that. He explains how he cheated on her without her knowing in the past, blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute. He, he said he told you he cheated on his wife without her knowing? Yeah, he's like, and, I, and he's like, I've done stuff in the past. You know, she hurt me, I hurt her. You know, I cheated on her, and even to the day she doesn't know, I was like, hmm. He said they had been talking for years. Um, they had built the rapport. They were friends, and not until she he let her know that he was getting a divorce or he was separating from his wife. Excuse me. Um, did they become intimate? Right after the first time of them come becoming intimate. Uh, <laughs> he decides on his birthday, which was July 4th, that he was going to fly her out to Miami. Okay. Um, she flew out to where, not Miami, was it ATL or Miami? I think it was Miami or ATL, one of the two. Um, i play a snippet, you know, so you can get the full gist of the story. But sis, just, just come along with me. So he lets her know that his um, wife was no longer, you know, in the house at the moment. They were getting the separation. And um, she had went to go see family or whatever the case may be. So Shorty said that she didn't second guess it because number one, instead of taking her as a married man, instead of taking her to a hotel, darling, he decided to bring her back to his marital home. Okay. So she wound up staying with him or whatever the case may be. They did whatever they did. And she said, after that, they kept in communication. Um, they Dealt still with each other after that, sending messages back and forth. Until one day, she said, right? One day, um, I realized that he's blocked me. Now, this is a little on, you know, later on down the line. But it's like, I realized he blocked me. And I'm like, that's sus. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, scoot back up. I'm missing something. Right before that happened, he let her know, I will only be able to reach you on Snapchat, right? I'll only be able to reach you on Snapchat because you know, Jamal happens to be coming back into town and she'll be staying here. So, you know, I don't want no confusion. How that would help, I do the hell not now, okay? See, fuckboy logic, okay? Because I've been telling y'all, this man was a gaslighter. Been saying this, okay? He's gaslighting you, sis. He not living by what he's saying. Y'all need to open y'all third eye and stop depending on these random people that don't really have your best interest at heart and really gonna tell you the truth and just pandering at this point to get money. Scroll up. Guap. Okay? So... In my last video, I happened to um, talk about Derek, actually. Derek Jackson. 
I actually spoke about him or whatever the case may be. And, you know, I got a couple comments that was like, says he really know what he be talking about. Sometimes he be dropping the knowledge. And for some reason, I get tricky with that. So I don't know if it's for sure. We still have a lot of evidence to look through him. I truly do not know if he did it. But either way you look at it, once he let her know he could not uh no longer communicate with her, um, you know, through regular calls and text messages. They had to talk on Snapchat. Um, she was like, that's weird. You know, if you guys are supposed to be separated, even though they still married. I just, I cannot, when all the hypocrisy that comes out of this man's mouth is sickening, okay? I'm too through. I'm done and I'm through and I'm done, okay? Because at this point, if all this is true, all this stuff that you talked about, you was talking about yourself. Ain't that a bitch? Listen, listen, okay. Don't nobody got time for that. Don't nobody got time for that. Let me just let me just say it, all right? For you to then block this girl, okay? After knowing her for years, you guys kept it cordial, and then when you get caught, you shut everybody down. As a woman, you should automatically know that that was the woman that shut it down. She found something, seen something, pulled the cover back, found the condom. That bitch was in the bathroom. Like, my soap was used. I remember when I left. I left it here. Now it was here, bitch. And I'm about to snatch somebody. So she found something. And when she found it, my love, she said, shut it down. Or you're going to be not only divorced. But I'm going to take you for every little book, YouTube, everything you got that's in your name. I'm coming for Okay, so he promptly shut that shit down. Okay, now do I believe it completely? Yet, mm, fitty fitty. It's like I don't completely believe it, but you can't put nothing past these people. I mean, <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> you never know, cause it be them like the preachers doing the shit that they preach about other people not supposed to be doing. Are we surprised at this point? I don't even know why people put so much stock in public, like, influencers. Because at this point, if you don't have a mind of your own, I can see liking someone's personality, their energy, vibing with someone. But to stand, I will never do. <laughs> I don't have a stand bone in my body, love. Like, it's just too much. Y'all follow the nail what in front of the other. Anything they say, anything they do, you jumping right on it. When you know good and goddamn well, you don't need to be listening to nobody who ain't been married longer than five years. Has he been married five years? Somebody tell me in the comments if he was married longer than five years. I don't take advice from people who aren't in happy, healthy relationships. No, what can you give me? And when he was advising y'all back then, when he first met her, he was in her inbox asking her what color her panties was. Sir, sir, why, sir? I just, baby, period. I won't do it. I, I refuse. All I'm saying is, is that I'm going to wait for the other shoe to drop. But I got a feeling, honey, that um, some of these things are not lies. Some of these things are not lies. It's all I'm saying. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying, it wasn't me. Okay? It wasn't me. All I'm letting y'all know is, I ain't going to say I told you so until the other shoe drop. But when it drops. All right, I might still not say I told you so, but you gonna know that's how I bet. <laughs> hey everybody. But um yes, honey. Um this has been my indigo mind. Okay, please like, comment, 
and subscribe okay because that's why i'll talk to you in the comments um if you haven't subscribed yet though like what are you doing what are you waiting for i see the ones that watch my videos and hovering and stuff just go ahead press the button you might as well be notified when i go live hit that bell and you want to press all so every time i post you know so later for now Bye.